Hi everybody, Jessica here. It's actually been a really long time since we did a YouTube video. We've just been really busy at our studio. Victor, let's go. <laughs> Tell everybody what we've got here. Toy Box Alpha 3. An Alpha 3. So I want you to know that this is gonna be a totally blind unboxing for us, right? Meaning, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if it looks very different. I haven't seen a picture of it. I haven't seen like a description of it. So we got our hands on one and we're just super excited to see what we've got, right? Yeah, and at the time of recording this, they don't even have it on their website or anything. Yeah, all right, let's go. So far, it looks like the Alpha 2. Victor is removing the foam blocks that are in place and I am opening this box, which I am going to assume has a plug and spool holder. That's my guess. Spool holder. Plug, which I think is gonna go under the printer like the Alpha 2. We have an Allen key. And I actually don't know what's in here. Any guesses, Victor? Oh, and here's the two smaller Allen keys. Actually, this is not even an Allen key. This is like an Allen screwdriver. See, it actually has a Phillips head. Yeah, so the plug was back here, just like the Alpha 2. We are going to compare looks first. So this is the Alpha 3. Uh, Victor, bring in the Alpha 1. Alpha 1. Alpha 1. Main difference between Alpha 1 and here, I'll bring in the Alpha 2. So when it went Alpha 1 to Alpha 2, instead of metal casing, plastic. plastic casing, and one of our favorite improvements was that the printer bed was white. White, and we like that a lot because it can be hard to tell if you forgot to put your magnet back on the Alpha 1, right? Because it's all black. Alpha 2, it's really glaring. Whoops, forgot my magnet. That goes on. Okay, so by looks, 2 and 3 look very similar. And let's see what we get. Alpha 3 is also plastic. Which we actually like because it's lighter and we travel with ours. Now we are going to fire all these printers up. All right, so now we have Alpha 1. Alpha 2. Alpha 2. And Alpha 3. Alpha 3. As you guys can see, we loaded all the printers up. And with a new printer, you always have to calibrate it. So we have three iPads back here. Right? We're on our calibration screen. And we are going to try to do a calibration raise. Three, three two, two, one. one. Do you guys notice what we notice? The Alpha 3 is going faster. Look at this tool head in the calibration circle. These are not even halfway done, and this calibration circle is almost entirely done. So, so far, I'm impressed. Also, that circle looks pretty much perfect right out of the box. Alpha 3 is already done. Vic, how much more we got to go? Uh, three minutes and 46 seconds. Three minutes, 46 seconds still left. Let's remove these calibration circles and check them out. Hey, let's do it. So Alpha 3, beautiful calibration circle right out of the box. Alpha 1 looks good too. Mine though was 3 minutes and 40 seconds faster, sucker. The only two things we know about the Toy Box Alpha 3 printer is they're going to be tighter layer lines and they should come out smoother. And this means better print quality. We also heard that it's faster. Yes. So to fairly have Alpha 2, which is now loaded with purple, and Alpha 3, which is now loaded with orange, compete, right? We had to make a few tweaks to make it a fair fight. Because the Alpha 3 has the point to, we changed the settings on our print to balanced. So not quality, not fast, balanced. To do that, click on this little circle, the little pencil, build, and then slide to balanced. And then on our Alpha 2, we changed the print to quality. Not balanced, not fast. The quality setting, right? So that it's comparable to the point two layer. So we're gonna do a side-by-side -side of a really cute print that we picked called Two Loving Cats. And we are going to see what we get. Ready, Vic? Yes. Three, Three two, two, one. On Alpha 3, the tool head is going way faster. finished several minutes ahead of Alpha 2. Yep, yeah, but let's check out that print quality. Yes. So here we have our finished kitties. The orange is the Alpha 3 on balanced. 
And the purple is the Alpha 2 on quality. And they both look fantastic. Here in our studio, we only print in balance. Not fast, not quality. Only balanced. So because of that, we want to try a different kind of test between the Alpha 2 and the Alpha 3. We are going to set the Alpha 2, which is now loaded with peach, to balanced because that's how we always use them, okay? But because the Alpha 3 has the better quality anyway, we're going to try that in fast. And we're going to see what happens. So for this one, we've chosen a dog. Victor? Three, two, one. I think I'm most curious about this one. see the alpha three kicked butt by over seven minutes but what i'm curious to see is did quality suffer by putting it on fast or is it good are you ready okay you get the alpha three i'll get the alpha two so here is a close-up of our doggies very very comparable we're gonna do this little fat bird all right victor three two one here we go. And Alpha 3 is in the lead by 1 minute and 30 seconds. And Alpha 3 is the only one that's starting to have a beat. And it just looks way faster than Alpha 2 and 1. So you can't really tell too well, but the blue bird right now on the Alpha 3 is the only one that has his little eyeball so far. And it seems like it's over a minute ahead of the others. Three finished first! It looks like we have at least a minute to go on the other two. Oh. So Alpha 1 and Alpha 2 finished almost at the same exact time. Now let's see what they look like. Here's our Alpha 3 birdie, and Victor and I will look at these up close too. And here's our Alpha 1 and 2. Here's 2. And here's Alpha 1. So Vic, let's look at these and see if we notice anything. I actually think there are less layer yeah. lines. Yeah, there yeah. are less grooves. Less layer lines on Alpha 3. Um, really nice and smooth. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or appreciate it. Pretty cool. Even the bottom on the 3 is actually cleaner. See that? Pretty cool. All right. So now that we had them compete, how about if we just test out some quality control on the Alpha 3? Okay. What do you want to print first? A frog. So Victor wanted to print a frog, but we want to test this machine. So we found what we think could be a really cool test print. It's the beautiful detailed tree frog. It's going to take 15 minutes. It looks kind of intricate, so we're going to give this a go and see what she can do. Okay, so it looks like our froggy is done. Um, I'm going to tilt this back. It actually turns due to vibration a little bit. So I'm going to take the frog off. Um, he actually looks pretty good. This this is a very intricate, squiggly pattern here. Anything like this, I usually just take a heat gun very gently, or I just use my little snippers and I give him what I call a haircut. So you can see there, pretty nice detail. Next, we thought we would test the Alpha 3 by running an articulated print, and this axolotl is one of our absolute favorites. Came out perfect. We have spent... Three days testing the Toy Box Alpha 3. We have tried big prints, small prints, articulated, articulated prints, prints multi-piece prints. My favorite are the gnomes. They're the best. We were actually super impressed at how well it did the articulated prints, even on fast mode. Towards the halfway point of our testing, we just did everything in fast. So for reference, right, this articulated axolotl took only 12 minutes in fast mode and came out perfect. We really love that we didn't have to sacrifice speed for quality. Overall, we think it's a great addition to the Toy Box family. Happy printing! Bye-bye. <laughs>